Hey everybody, welcome back to the Thinking Crypto channel. Happy New Year to those of you who are in parts of the world where it's already January 1st. Here on the East Coast time in America, it is not uh, past midnight yet, it's still December 31st, but I want to wish all of you a happy new year, a healthy, prosperous new year. May we all make significant returns off the crypto market. And we're going to talk about some bullish news today. Before I go further, please hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment below, and hit the subscribe button if you're new here. It helps support the channel and it doesn't cost you anything. Guys, Bitcoin currently sitting at $28,567. As talked about in yesterday's video, we are close to $30,000. And if you look at the chart here, 2017 is already starting to look small. Why? Bitcoin's price is has blasted through the old all-time high of near uh, 19,800, right? And now we're at uh, near 30. So we could hit $30,000 within the next few days. And as always, there will be corrections on the way up. You know, I think this peak right here that we're seeing, we will see a correction and then keep going up. Just like you saw these peaks here, peaks and valleys on the way up to $19,000 in 2017, right? Because we are on track to a $100,000 Bitcoin price. And remember what I've been saying for years, this next parabolic run up is going to make 2017 look like a tiny little blip on the chart. The same way 2017 makes 2013 look like a tiny blip on the chart, right? So it's a matter of perspective. And I always like to point you guys to the macro level view. Forget about the weekly, hourly, daily, whatever. Look macro level. That's how these big time investors are looking at it. And guys, plan B updated the stock to flow model chart. We are on track to $100,000 and even potentially a million dollars in the years to come as the next halvings continue. And here's what plan B said, 2012 having the left orange arrow blue to red stock to flow ratio doubled from four to eight and Bitcoin value increased 100 X 2016 having stock to flow doubled from 11 to 22 value 10 X 2020 having stock to flow doubled from 27 to 54 Bitcoin value just started to rise towards gold, the orange and yellow next. Happy 2021. We are on track. Yes, you're not going to see the same type of run-ups as you saw historically, like the 100x. But even if we just 8x from where we are at, right, we are going to be in just a new stratosphere, guys. I mean, over $100,000 Bitcoin, right? So very exciting times ahead. You have to look macro level. You have to be patient. This is not a quick thing, right? So people often put in their money into Bitcoin or, or crypto. Three months later, you're like, oh, no, the Bitcoin's down. Oh, no. And they don't understand the macro level. You have to look at the data. That's why I share this with you guys. Not my opinion, not my feelings or emotions. What does the data say? And what we've also seen is Bitcoin is the best performing asset out of every asset class that we've seen it is it has outperformed gold which is a great store of value as well bonds uh, held by non-banks regular bonds cash equities total debt private assets crude oil my goodness it has outperformed everything look at this chart masari put it together so change in market value of an asset of asset classes bitcoin up 318 percent year to date my goodness, right? And this is also data from JP Morgan. And this is why JP Morgan is now on board with Bitcoin and they are advocates for it, putting out reports, saying good things about it. A, a total 180 from when Jamie Dimon in 2017 called it trash, called it a scam, called it a, a bad investment. Don't talk to me about it, right? Big things are happening here. There is a change in the mindset, change in the narrative. People are waking up to this. A big part of why that change is happening, increased money printing, inflation, right? The, the depreciation of the fiat currencies. Dan Tapiero, a very big Bitcoin, um, well, I should say he was originally a gold bull, but he's also on board with Bitcoin because he understands it as digital gold, unlike Peter Schiff, by the way. And look at this chart. L look at this. My goodness. The money printing. And this is in three-year increments. So like 90, 90, 1997 to 2000, 2000 to 2003. 
2015 to 2018. Um, so you see just the spike here. They're printing record amount of money here. And uh, it's it's why a lot of these companies like MicroStrategy and why uh, Michael Saylor has been talking to Elon Musk. And I think you're going to see 2021 Google's and the Apple's and the Tesla's put Bitcoin in their balance sheet, guys. This is a big reason of why the value is going up and why there's demand. People don't want to lose the value of their cash, their wealth, right? So Dan Tepiero said, most important chart of 2020 in a range of 50 years and now plus 69% year over year will change everything we thought we knew about economics and markets. Absolutely. Absolutely. How, how do you, you have to like readjust everything now because of all this money that's being printed? Uh, he said, we'll continue to drive Bitcoin, gold, and NASDAQ in 2021. So the stock market is being pumped by all this cash, by the way. The Fed is buying a lot of different things, right? You all know about that. And the stores of value of Bitcoin and gold will continue to go up. So $6 trillion in cash that will eventually be put to work once in an, a lifetime event. This is how big this is, guys. There's a paradigm shift taking place. In my opinion, I think they, the governments, the central banks, the IMF, they know they can't fix this issue. The, this thing has gone so far beyond their control that they they can't. There's no way to pull it back. They, how do you repay all the debt that's being put put out there, right? The U.S. Uh, uh, debt is like 27 trillion and, and over, and just total world debt is in. It's just crazy, right? Um, so there's no way to to stop this or or fix this. They have to reset it. That's why I think CBDCs are being introduced. That's why the IMF is calling for the Bretton Woods 2.0, right? They did this after World War II, um, and then obviously Nick, Nixon took the, um, the dollar off the gold standard in the 70s. So now here's where we're at, and they have to fix it. There's there's no way to go back now. They got to reset it, change it, whatever it is, and they're going to use blockchain technology. So we've seen guys like Raul Powell and some of these macro investors talk about it who've studied money, um, who studied markets years and years. They, they, they have so much, a plethora of experience. And uh, I definitely recommend you listen to them. Uh, Dan Moorhead, Raul Powell, these guys really know what they're talking about. So the data doesn't lie. It's here in front of our faces what is happening, right? And what we're seeing, guys, is that this is not just about um, governments recognizing what's going on or average investors or hedge funds. We have people of celebrity status, of athletes, well-known athletes st status that are going to be putting their money into Bitcoin and watch the masses follow suit. So Jack Mullers, we've been talking about him, who's the founder of Strike, which allows you to be paid in Bitcoin or, you know, do they help kind of convert that? And of course, Russell Okung, who is the NFL player who said uh, he's a Bitcoin bull and he got half his money paid in Bitcoin. Well, here's what Jack tweeted just recently. He said, got more athletes on the wait list. will onboard now. NFL, NBA, MLB, even some billboard artists. Stacking sats is going mainstream. We're about to blow this shit up. Just getting started. See what's happening here, folks? You better make sure you have your bags filled. And now, obviously, not financial or investment advice. I'm just saying, well, I should put it this way. I'm making sure I am have I have my bags full, um, and including Bitcoin. And, of course, the altcoins will follow Bitcoin's move. We've seen that historically. Um, so this thing, it, it, the genie is out of the bottle. And it's only going to get bigger. There's going to be more awareness. And as you have influencers, people who have millions of followers that are doing this, you're going to see the mass FOMO kick in. And that's why all the billionaires and millionaires and, and all these guys, Paul Tudor Jones, got their positions early. They took their positions early to get this in place. So they are ahead of the curve. And like I said, we are on the side of smart money. We are here early. We went through the bear market, bought the dips. We are here on the side of smart money, uh, smart money, my friends. And what we're seeing because of this demand, there is a Bitcoin liquidity crisis. Bitcoin is becoming harder to buy on exchanges. Data shows, not emotions, not opinions, the data. So Bitcoin liquidity is declining. Data from Glassnode shows, which should propel Bitcoin price even higher. I think this is something we've been seeing a lot of lately when you have the likes of the Square Cash app, um, the, the uh, folks at uh, Galaxy Digital, 
I, a grayscale, excuse me, not Galaxy Digital, grayscale, and you have uh, MicroStrategy buying up, and you have all of these folks, PayPal buying up the supply, you're going to have a, a liquidity crisis for Bitcoin, but that's going to drive the price up because you can't mine uh, more than 21 million and some have been lost, right? And it, a lot of these folks are buying it and putting it into storage. They're not selling like the weak hands or the retail investors in 2017. They are holding long term. And finally, guys, I want to wrap it up with some good news here um, around getting some folks in government that are pro crypto crypto friendly judy shelton many of you know who she is she tweeted the following this morning saying here meanwhile in washington dc with an image of an executive calendar dated today thursday december 31st 2020 and it looks like she's hinting that she's going to be her nomination is going to be confirmed because she was nominated by trump i believe so this is uh interesting guys and um Part of she's going to be nominated as a member of the uh, board of governors of the Federal Reserve. So we've known about this for a while. And why is this important? Well, she's an advocate of a gold back currency, even a crypto one. She's trying to get us back on the gold standard. And she said, possibly in a very cryptocurrency way. So this is not new news as far as what she said. We knew about this since May, right? But the fact that she may get um, confirmed great news my friends we need the people who are pro crypto in different positions of the government in different divisions right you get them in the federal reserve we got some congressmen congresswomen who are bullish on crypto right we're seeing them coming out now and talking about it and uh this is very very exciting let's see what she's able to do and let's hope she gets it uh, uh I, i'm not here to talk about politics necessarily but this is great this is great 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 news in fact we need we need folks on both sides of the aisle to to be on board with crypto to have this thing move forward so very very bullish uh i am looking forward to 2021 I think it's going to be a great year for crypto. Obviously, we got the uh, some folks like Mnuchin and, and Jay Clayton on his way out who really tried to slow this market down. Obviously, Jay Clayton in respect to Ripple and XRP. Uh, Mnuchin with crypto wallets, but that doesn't seem to be slowing Bitcoin down. Um, and I think we're going to see new all-time highs in 2021. Let's see what happens. Obviously, it's not a certainty, but it's a high probability in my opinion, right? Because... Look, when you're talking about investing in, in the future, you can only speculate and you can talk about the probability or the likelihood of something happening. There's nothing in, in stone or certainty except maybe taxes, right? <laughs> Life, death and, and taxes, guys. That's that's how it is, right? Um, but what do you guys think about this news? Could we see a $30,000 Bitcoin by next week? I think so. And I think we may see a correction and then a, a move back upwards, right? normal market cycles peaks and valleys on the way up and um I, i'm hoping this judy shelton news uh just is, is she comes up with something good and helps push push the crypto market forward so guys leave your thoughts and comments below hit the thumbs up button share this video and i will talk to you all later